we came here in 1871. Why at that time? Well, there was a movement from the east to the west after the Civil War for families expanding across the country. And many of them got as far as the Mississippi River. They couldn't go much further. There weren't many bridges. So they located in towns where there were bridges. And we, at that time, the bishops of the Catholic Church found a lot of Catholics coming, and they had no schools. And all of a sudden, something happened. A tragedy, a couple of tragedies, and that gave birth to why we're here. One was the Chicago fire. We had schools, the brothers had schools in Chicago. In 1871, the Chicago fire. It burned out the whole guts of the city. We lost four schools. So the brothers escaped, but we didn't have schools for them. So there was some manpower ready to come. Same time, we had a college in Pass Christian, and the yellow fever epidemic was going on. And they lost nine brothers in a month. So they had no faculty left. To, but Brother Marillion, who was there, got the yellow fever, but did survive, was asked to come up here. He didn't have a college left, so he came up here. A couple brothers from the Chicago Fire came down, and then he opened it, stayed at St. Peter's Church. Started a school six blocks away. And from then on, we're here. I'd never been a, a big volunteer before. But a little over four years ago, four or five years ago, I realized I was coming here at least once a weekend. And, I mean, you can't beat free music. And you've got a fun crowd. You've got a crowd, that, a lot like CBU. It looks like Memphis. The crowds, you know, you don't have all the same kind of people sitting all the same kind of thing together. And I was enjoying it, and I realized that there were a few people doing some work. So I said, well, I'm coming anyway. Why not? So this will be the fourth year I've been volunteering here. Um, do a little bit of whatever they need. Um, it's fun to pass the buckets and collect donations. Um, but lots of people like to do that. And so this one little corner of Midtown becomes the whole city of Memphis and all these sort of people come and go and you get to meet people and you see little kids making new friends and it's just a chance to get together. Franklin Strategy Firm is sort of like a political firm and me being a communications major, I didn't really like the political science um, aspect of a lot of things. And so coming in, I was kind of nervous as to how I would fit in being a communications major. But being here, I've seen that, you know, it is just about communications, bringing what I have to say to the table and what I've learned in school to the table. And it all just kind of fits in kind of like a puzzle piece here. I do a little bit of social media. I do um, newsletters, news posts, what to say here and there, how to respond to other communications in different companies as well. With the different campaigns that we have, you do need community um, outreach and community service and volunteers and things like that. And being here in Cooper Young, basically, um, you get a lot of that. You're able to you know, walk around and go door to door asking for volunteers for this and that. And being here, I've seen you know, how community and service play a role, a big role in businesses. Um, my favorite aspect of this internship is being able to um, broaden my horizons as far as social media. Um, I didn't know a lot about what went into social media as far as businesses and now I see what's behind it, how to um, get your name out there as far as your work and your work ethics.